Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the memorial of St. Josaphat, a bishop who gave his life as a martyr for the unity of the Church, let us pray in this Mass that we too may work for true unity that is founded in Jesus. Let us now be sorry for our sins. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same Spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey. For they have set out for the sake of the name 
and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons so that we may be co-workers in the truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for, up, for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lands, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Please stand. God has called us, though the gospel, to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the parable that Jesus narrated in our gospel today is familiar to us. And because of too much familiarity to this story, we oftentimes miss out the words that Jesus says, said after narrating the parable. Jesus said, Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? 
will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done to them speedily. If a dishonest judge could give the justice that the widow is asking for, how much more will a good God not give justice that we need? God is the God of justice. But many times, my dear brothers and sisters, we feel that we live in a very unjust world, that on this earth, justice seems to be selective. If you have money, if you are rich, if you are influential, if you have a high position in government, you will always get the justice that you want. But if you are poor, it is very difficult to get justice on earth. Kapag nagnakaw ng bilyon-bilyon, kayang lusutan, pero yung nagnakaw ng isang instant noodles, ikinukulong agad. Where is justice? And it is sad that many times we feel that we will never get the justice that we deserve here on earth. But today, from the mouth of Jesus himself, he assures us, God will defend the rights of his chosen ones. God will see to it that justice is done for them. The Lord always sees to it that justice prevails, if not here on earth, then in heaven. Justice on earth might be selective. Justice on earth might be enjoyed by some. But the justice of God, the justice in eternal life, will surely be equal to all. Hindi man natin makuha ang katarungan sa mundong ito, ipagkakaloob yun ng Diyos sa atin sa buhay na walang hanggan. At yung mga nakakakuha ng katarungan sa mundong ito sa maling paraan, tatanggapin din nila ang nararapat sa kanilang katarungan sa buhay na walang hanggan. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Josephat who lived towards the end of the 16th century to the early 17th century. He was Ukrainian. And so it is fitting that today we pray for peace in Ukraine because the ongoing war there has caused a lot of injustice to the affected citizens. St. Josephat belonged to the Orthodox Church, but later on he returned to full communion with the Roman Catholic Church. He became a monk and then a bishop. And as a bishop, he worked for the unity of Christians, specifically for the return of the Orthodox to the Roman Catholic Church. But because of this, many got angry with him, and so they plotted to kill him. He was murdered because of his desire for unity in the church. What an injustice! But because of his fidelity to God, St. Josephat 
received the justice of God in heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, God is a God of justice. And so let us be just to one another. This is what our first reading exhorts us. Let us be just to each other so that we too may experience the justice of God. And the justice of God is not punishment. The justice of God is not condemnation. The justice of God is His mercy and love. Please stand. We must pray unceasingly and never lose heart. Our God will see justice done to His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night. Encouraged by this teaching of our Lord, let us come to the Father with our intercessions. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church, through its ministers, may persevere abyss all her trials and tribulations and never lose confidence in proclaiming the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that those who are discouraged and are tempted to give up the struggle in living a good life may find new inspiration in the faithfulness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who find praying difficult may grow in fervor and make room for God in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sea may persevere in their sufferings and never lose heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may receive the heavenly reward for their perseverance on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, we entrust our needs to you. Show us the way to pray unceasingly so that we may always be united to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Josephat, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Josephat and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Peace then. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and grace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.